All right. Welcome to another installment of the Fragments of Silicon Reviews. Uh, four reviews up this week. Or, technically speaking, three reviews and one impression. Um, but we get to that when we get to that. Um, first up this week is a game called Cosmic Cruiser. Um, in this unique shooter from 1984, take on the role of a pilot of an outdated Cosmic Cruiser fighting to rescue the crew of a distant space station that had been captured by a raiding party from the sinister Ralum Empire. Um, and yeah, that is a pretty good summation of what the game is. Although, where do I start here? Or how do I say this? Um, that's a lot harder to parse when you actually look at the game. It, like, if you don't know what's going on. Um, because, once again, this is from 1984, so there's the expected level of abstraction. Um, but I gotta admit, uh, Cosmic Cruiser adds another layer to it by being bloody confusing. Uh, which is kind of impressive for a game this simple. Um, because, Petty, I'm sure you're trying to figure out what to do here. Very um, much so. Yeah. Um, I had to look up a video walkthrough of the game to figure out what the fuck was going on with this. And... So, um, you see those um, black things that you're shooting? Yeah. Those are, those are apparently windows. Um, or doors. Uh, entrance portals, if you will. You've got to blow those up, and you've got to enter them. Um, I guess, technically speaking, you don't have to. But, yeah. Um, when you get in there, um, then the controls go to shit. And you're dealing with a whole bunch of mobs. Um, what you're trying to do is you see the spaceman in there, the, the guy that looks. Yeah. Um, you're supposed to get to him and rescue him. Which is easier said than done. Like I've gotten I've gotten the space uh, guy, but I never actually managed to rescue because, well. The controls are kind of shit, aren't they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, because, so the first problem is, you're always moving. I thought like, my controller was broken, honestly. Fair. Like, no, it's not your broken controller, it's the broken controls of the game. Fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. Because I'm pretty sure that um, being able to maneuver was a thing that you could do in 1984. Like, and another thing that compounds this is they're using the, uh, for whatever reason, they're using the ZX Spectrum version of the game. Um, and that's bringing with it some really bad color clash and bleeding both of my eyes and the colors in the game. <laughs> uh-huh. Like, you know, anytime a monster gets into that fucking rainbow band, it hits. Oh, God, it hits. And, it hits you know, the and interior... it bleeds. Yep. Uh, and the interiors are not much better, mostly due to the hideous shade of yellow that they used. Um. May, that, that would be a presumably a limitation, but, you know, this doesn't look too good. But, you know, it gets really bad in the interiors because the clunky controls are met with a very small space. And uh, further compounded by the fact that th this is Space, inv uh, space Invaders style of shooting in that you can only fire one bullet at a time. 
um, cannon not included in that. Like, the controls for the cannon are actually decent. But, you know, you can't move in that. And that really is all there is to the game, um, quite frankly. Um, now, I suppose, technically speaking, it's optional that you have to rescue the space uh, crew. Um, but you want to do this for bonus points. Oh, remember, bonus points. remember, this is a game from 1984, so score was seen as still very important to the playing of video games. Even though, you know, we're talking about a 8-bit computer game versus an arcade game. So, there wouldn't have been a readily available way to share that. Other um, than snapping a picture with your Kodak camera. Yeah. I mean, the local scene, the very local scene, sure. You know, lo- like, you know, local leaderboards. You know, that was a thing, you know, that was a thing uh, with computer games up through the 90s. You know, they'd still have it, but, you know, whoever could access it. Um, that being said, I don't recall, see- like, I'm not sure if this game has leaderboards. Um, like, yeah, see, it, you can just go through the level without getting any survivors. Also, I, I never quite figured out what those satellites do. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They're not enemies. They're not allies at least they don't think they are they just exist your guess is as good as mine (laughs) yeah so i suppose a quandary uh, comes up in relation to this game it's not so much uh, does it hold up. The answer is fuck no. Um, it's another one of those. Was this ever a good game? I'm gonna say no to the ZX Spectrum version on display here, um, because the clunky controls here would have been compounded with the um, ZX Spectrum computer. Uh, membrane keyboard which was um, from what I understand not great to put it lightly yes yeah I mean or was it cellophane like kind of like a rubbery keyboard thing and also we are well away from the days of wads being standardized I think cellophane was more used for quote unquote mechanicals back in the day they used like foam domes yeah, I'm like, yeah. Um, like, who like who knows what keys this game was using? But, you know, the controls are just inherently clunky. But the one that uh, really sends us over the edge is just the god-awful color uh, clash. Um, and I've looked up footage of, like, the C64 version. Uh, it, not so surprisingly, doesn't have that. See, color bleed was uh, a problem endemic to the ZX Spectrum due to its specs. Um, you had to get real creative about that, or you know, you get that visual mess. Anyway, um, in terms of pricing, well, if you do want to venture and pick this up, it's only two dollars. I'd. Personally, suggest saving that for the cup of coffee. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's about all I got on Cosmic Cruiser. Um, anything you want to add to the conversation, Petty? Not really. <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> yeah, that'll about do it for Cosmic Cruiser. Be sure to tune in after the break as Petty will be reviewing Head Over Heels. <laughs> 